It was about 2000 and the dot com had pretty much just exploded. The whole world was resetting and I uh, decided to reset too. I ended up back at home living in my mom's house and came across an article on the wedge in Surfer Magazine and said, hey, you know what? Let's give this a try. So I packed up all my belongings and moved there. And I ended up um, buying a small one bedroom condo, which I renovated. In the process, a guy came to me and said, hey, can you build one of these houses for me? You did a great job on this renovation. I said, ah, well, you know, I never built a house. It's not really my, my I'm kind of staying away from construction. I want to do something different. But I did it and I ran the process as I knew only how to run it through the, coming from commercial construction. And that led to 300 houses today we've built. In the process of building that first house and building the business, I've you know, created a family in Newport Beach. I've been great in the community in Newport Beach. That first house, that reset, um, really was the, the gateway to where I am today. People think it's the craziest thing in the world I tell them I maintain every house I've ever built. Why would you do that? There's only one year statute of limitations on fit and finish in California. Well, because the person who owns that house or lives in that house is probably a sibling of someone that's on my child's soccer team, or I'm gonna see a gymnastics with my other daughter, or is in the NCL with my wife. When I walked into Patterson home, I just thought there was a level of quality that was above the other builders. There's some other good builders in the area, but there's definitely a different sense of um, design. There's, there's more detail. Uh, things like copper and all the exterior horizontal surfaces that other builders weren't including. I have a large home building company. I don't build custom homes, but I know what a home could look like, and I felt definitely the quality was different here. Yeah, a lot of our friends in Newport Beach have uh, admired his work, and we were told that he was one of the best builders in the Newport Beach area. But we had actually admired this house, and when we saw that it was on the market, we couldn't believe it, and so we uh, quickly uh, purchased it. And, and a nice surprise was that this uh, home actually was Andrew Patterson's home at one time. So it made it extra special. Some home builders, you know, if it's in their contract, um, they'll just perform based on that contract and they won't go above and beyond. And so there were numerous times when it meant an elongated schedule because of a change that Andrew came up with that would enhance the house and make it better that he didn't have to do. He could have kept quiet, and I've seen a lot of builders that would keep quiet. He didn't have to do that, and he did it and he made the house better, even though it was at his personal cost, yet he stepped up to make it the best it could be. That, to me, says a lot about a builder. A lot of times you run into people that their first line of defense is no, or I don't think we can, but it was always a positive experience of, yeah, we can make that happen. We'll, f we'll figure out a way to make that happen. It wasn't them against us. It was a team all together. I do it because I like going down the streets and seeing our homes stand out. They stand out not because uh, the person spent more money building them. They stand out because our level of finish that we build these homes to, these homes stand up and they're constantly being washed and painted every year and, and the ducts are being cleaned and the, the countertops are being sealed and the floors are being touched up. All the things that keep these homes looking good so the aftercare program, you know, I think is a great um, service that Andrew performs. You know, especially when you talk about a bayfront house, you know, there's a lot of maintenance that's required. And so for um, Andrew's team to have them available for this aftercare is a huge benefit to us, um, especially that we live out of state. But even if we lived here, it wouldn't make a difference. We would still want that aftercare program. And I like the fact that when you need someone, if you call their office, they all know us. It's not like, who are you? They know who you are, and they're ready to go into action and do whatever they need to do. So that's what we're trying to do, is always, every day, find a way to be better. Care. Done. If you live in a house that I built, it's taken care of. It's managed. For as long as you live, as long as your kids live, as long as the house is there, that house is managed and maintained and taken care of. And every client that I work with has my cell phone. And I say, I want you to call me 24 hours a day, seven days a week. There's absolutely no delineation between personal life and business life for me. If anything were to happen, they make one phone call, send one text, send one email, either that day sometimes, but definitely by the next morning, we have a team of people from my, my staff, they're addressing whatever that problem is. For me, I'm building a house the same standard I build a custom home uh, on Harbor Island too. It's all the same. I don't have an upgrade price. It's all built the exact same. So everything is copper flash. Everything is cast iron waistlines. We have 
the best uh, HVAC systems, the rigorous inspection process that we all do in quality control to ensure that there are no problems in the future. And I have to make the process in such a way that who's ever buying this home, they can rest at night knowing that there's no worry. How do I ensure that every single person that lives in the same community as me feels security that nothing bad will happen to them? And that's my mentality, that's my business model, and that's how I live my life.